Welcome to the Counselor Overview for Managing Templates. Now, just to start off here, when I use the word template, I'm referring to um, really kind of text-based templates, and text and image-based templates. So, like for example, uh, phrasing or paragraphs or, or uh, tables and images that you may want available, for example, when you're creating the history section of your professional report, or the results section, or recommendation templates, or maybe the notes templates you have for invoicing, or uh, um, uh, cover letters, or medical clearance forms, text templates, email templates, right? These are all areas within Counselor where you can set up your own list of preferences um, and, and then draw upon those at the right time. So when you want to send off a letter to a patient, you have a list of all the different uh, letters to draw from, and you can do so very quickly. When you want to shoot the patient a quick email from their profile or a text message, or you want to add a, a phrase to your professional report results section, you have that in place. Okay. Now, two things. First off, Counselor assists with creating your templates. Uh, and so any custom templates that you want to have, the counselor support team is happy to help. So you can send those to uh, our support team and then we'll work on building custom templates for you. Once again, this can span the, the range of options here, right? So if you need uh, new marketing letters and, the, and you're very specific about how you want them to appear, uh, or you're working on maybe some results templates and maybe there needs some be some tables involved or something that's a little more complicated to to build, uh, once again, we're very happy to assist. It's also important to note that uh, when you first started your account with Counselor, um, or first created your, your clinic within Counselor, uh, many of these templates did auto-populate. So there may be ones in there you say, great, perfect, that's exactly what I need, or maybe they'll be fine with just slight alterations, or you might say, no, nah, we're not gonna use that one, right? Uh, but you will see that uh, many, many templates preset in the system right from the get-go. What I'm going to do in this overview is I'm going to jump in just a few areas and show you kind of the template creation process, talk that through. There are some differences, but by and large, it's, it's essentially the same concept. Okay, so here I'm going to jump into the professional report history templates. Um, as we can see here, these are all preset. So these were automatically in your, in your counselor account when you started. Uh, you could pop in and you could, you know, edit the category names. You could edit individual templates or change their order. Um, of course, you can add more as well. So you can simply just type in here. Uh, you can add that template to either an existing um, uh, category or you could type in a brand new name and then it will create the category on the fly. So whatever works the best for you there. Now the name area here, this is a section that's just kind of like shorthand. It helps you find templates quicker. So if you have, let's say a full paragraph of text, um, what will happen with counsel will just show in, in the list here, I'll show the start of it. So here's an example where the text is longer than the display area. You can hover as well. Um, but uh, the uh, if you wanted to shorthand this, you could put it in a name and that's what you would see here. So um, either way, if you don't put a name, that's perfectly fine. You'll see the text listed here. If you put it in a name, you'll see that description here, okay? Uh, but once again, as you're creating templates, um, if you need any assistance, counselor is happy to help. Now, specifically with the professional report recommend, uh, I'm sorry, professional report history templates, I would encourage you to take caution in this area, the delete area. Uh, these uh, case history templates, these history templates, are linked directly to the insight template. So insight is the feature that when you're working with a patient, you're taking your case history, you can click and tap on the templates and then that will start to build your reports and start to add your codes. And so a lot of these phrases are directly linked to insight. So I would encourage you to utilize the counselor insight feature within the patient visit screen first to make sure you feel comfortable with how that's working. And then if you'd like customizations beyond there, please reach out to the counselor support team and we can assist, okay? And that note is just really kind of specific to uh, the professional report history templates, as well as, I guess, primarily the results, uh, the professional report results templates, or I'm sorry, recommendation templates as well. Um, so just take a bit of caution with that. Now, generally speaking across the board here, when we talk about the different areas where you can add, te add templates, hopefully it's fairly intuitive. Once again, if you need to create a marketing letter, now marketing can be general, it can be any kind of letter of, you know, communication letter uh, to a patient, it could be a happy birthday letter, for example, right? Uh, but there are tools within each screen, a lot of different options that you have available. Um, here, for example, we can see letters that are being created. 
and what specifically has been activated or not activated within individual letters, which you can then um, edit, you know, modify, save. You can save and preview, right? So there's a lot of different ways that you can, you know, see the work you're doing, look at the outcome uh, before you finalize it and use it for patients specifically, okay? Um, now, once again, a lot of these areas have their own nuance. Um, so once again, as you go through them, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, in particular, uh, you know, um, templates that employ uh, placeholders, right? This is a key feature that you may have noticed here uh, is available with each one of these areas. Placeholders are a very powerful tool that will automatically insert, insert very specific information into the text, whether that's a text message, whether that's text that you're trying to put into the history section of the profession report or a recommendation or email template or marketing letter, whatever the case may be, right? Um, within that individual template, you can have it insert specific info. So let's go ahead here, in fact, and look at a template that's already been built. And what we'll see here is in this template, it has multiple placeholders, right? It has one for the patient um, name, it has one for the appointment details, one for the confirmation link, right? These are things, you know, clinic name, clinic phone number uh, that will autofill. Um, and so you don't have to, you know, uh, build these on your own. We can we can assist you uh, to make sure it's autofilling exactly the way you want it to autofill. Okay, so a lot of really cool tools in here. Uh, also, when it comes to inserting images into templates, that's something I would strongly encourage you to reach out to the counselor support team. Uh, we can work on what we call it what's called the HTML coding behind the scenes uh, to build those templates um, very very specifically for you. So a lot of tools are available to you with under administration in various sections to modify, update, add new uh, templates as needed. And then, of course, once again, you can always reach out to the concert support team for help. So if you do need help, give us a call, email us, live chat us. We're always happy to assist. Uh, thank you very much for joining us for the counselor tutorial for managing templates.